Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Fashionably Loud here on Hot Mondays Up and Live. You know, the past weekend, or the weekend before that, we had Style Week. So it was nothing but style, makeup style, men's collection, fashion block. And because of that, Fashionably Loud is a little bit different. But today we still have a designer, a special designer at that. Her name is Ticia and she's from Rev Jewelry and Designs. Ticia, how are you doing this evening? I'm great, thank you. It's a pleasure being here. And we're actually, it's Duane who's a designer and I'm the half in terms of marketing and production. Duane, actually, your brother, Duane Bennett, he does the design, he gets all the creativity together and you sell it. Basically. <laughs> and it's really very simple. He makes my job very easy to do because like what you're wearing right now, they're absolutely fabulous on you. And it's just me going out and getting the word out there in terms of everyone knowing this is what you need to wear. If you want to be different, unique and very stylish. Different is definitely the term to describe what I'm wearing as far as accessories today because it's from Rev Jewelry. My earrings, oh my God. People, please get a close up because my earrings actually have pencils in them and markers and little little stuff from like classroom. It's what was, he's not here, but what was what you think was his motivation behind these? It, well, uh, his creation, what really inspired his collection was um, something that was old school, that's something very childish, you know, wonderful um, memories of childhood growing up. So even the bracelet that you're wearing, which is charmed out, which is very, very hot right now in terms of the accessories um, department, you know, you have the pencils, the, the sharpeners and everything happening on there. So it's really cool. It's very funky, very sophisticated and stylish and definitely unique and very exclusive to the wearer. All right, so how long have you guys been doing this though? Like, um, I'm sure Dwayne probably been making things in the classroom since he was a child, but how long have you actually turned it into an empire? It's two years now, so we're still fairly new, but um, we're definitely building a very good um, rapport with our clients and we're definitely expanding our market as well. Thus far, we have five distributors within the island, which includes Strawberry Hill and Kinson 21 at Hilton Hotel. And we also have a distributor based in New York, so you can actually get the products to purchase online yeah, and very soon, we'll be having our own website, which is www.revjewelljamaica.com, and you'll be able to purchase the items online there as well. So, it's, it's been good. Yeah, definitely, and we've won a couple of awards, and we're very proud, and very proud of him, and as I said, he compliments my work. You know, it works very well together, and people love the stuff. Well, I love the stuff. I got to see the stuff firsthand in a fashion show in Style Week, Make Off Style, that was Saturday night. They had a whole collection just like the designers the clothing designers had their collection they had their jewelry collection let's take a look at how rev jewelry represented at make of style hey. I want to where you got it I'm the hottest around there no when they see you rolling them polars around me. I got a soldier with the top down feeling the sounds quaking and vibrating your thighs riding harder than guys with the chrome wheels at the bottom white leather inside when them lanes be spitting at you tell them don't even try to shoot at Michelle and kick it with Kelly your holiday B you gotta be G's you way out of your league awesome I love the footage it was so nice I was there I saw everything I witnessed it firsthand the, the model that came out she had on the headpiece the big silver headpiece gorgeous black girl by the way gorgeous headpiece Dwayne what was what was going on in his head oh wow the best I can do is try to represent what was going on for him but this must I much I know or pretty much like our slogan fashion has the genesis behold the revelation pretty much like this beautiful dress you're wearing right now uh, what really accessorizes it and sets you apart from everyone else is our accessories the revelation and so it's basically a transition and the blossoming of our of our products and um, and what Dwayne does is designs and that's what tran you know really translated in the pieces that he did for for Style Week and including that beautiful headpiece he did it was almost like it was made for her she was absolutely stunning in it wasn't she actually I want to wear it on the show I'm gonna like put my hair back or something and we just make it work all right but getting prepared for a fashion show, being that you're an accessory designer, and it's all about the accessories, which is why the girls were wearing all black, so you would just focus on the accessories. How is that like preparing for something like that? And, you know, bringing, as what you told me earlier, you brought other designers into the, 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 the fashion show business and stuff. How is it preparing for something like that? 
It um is challenging, but at the same time, it's very rewarding because what happens is that pretty much we feed off each other's energy. Um, thanks to persons like Sharon, who is our seamstress, she was able to use the designs that we had in mind and to physically create the pieces so that no distractions was you know taken away from the pieces that were being on display. And of course, there are other young budding designers such as Megan Allison and Lady Grey and Chalet Designs, a whole bunch of wonderful, talented people and each one has their own style and so it's a perfect complement. Um, Rev Jewelry, of course, we're known for very sophisticated, very exclusive and top quality pieces that are very unique to our wearer. Pretty much these designers bring the same things, a different take, they have a different style to them. So the pieces stand out when you see them, so it was great. They definitely do stand out. You have the normal pieces you can wear to a dinner function and stuff, and then you have the avant-garde pieces. Oh my gosh! <laughs> but I'm just loving what I'm wearing today. My earrings are absolutely amazing. Get a look at my bracelet, it's gorgeous. As I said before, they're literally pencils on here, sharpened with the points. <laughs> but it's fun, it's gorgeous. I mean, it's, it's, it's what we're made of. Local designers, jewelry designers were extremely talented. They design it, they build it from scratch, and they get it, the business done. It's Tisa and Dwayne Bennett. Dwayne is the creative eye in the business. Tisa get the sales marketing part down and they're just amazing together. Anyone you want to say thank you to for helping you with Style Week? Most definitely a big thank you to uh, Dwight Peters of Saints and the whole production team there. It was very challenging, I can imagine, for them because it was a bigger show and it was great. Um, definitely all the jewelers who came on board with Rev Jewelry as well. It was a wonderful way for them to launch their products as well. And their seamstress Sharon, Lucille, who is also a designer, and of, of course our family, they have always been very supportive of what we do and actually going out and doing what we believe in and just taking it to another level. So, I mean, big up and thanks to many persons, lecturers, a lot of people who played a part. Thank you for coming by. And stick around guys, it's up and live. More to come with Fashionably Loud Style Week.